Air challenge Fernando Montiel for the bantamweight title. The Filipino flag showcased 15 power early in a fight that wouldn't make it out of the second round. Good right hand and a left drop, Montiel! And Russell Moore is gonna let it continue. Now he stops it. Donito Donaire with a counter left after absorbing a right. He's on top of the world tonight. Following a win over Omar Narvaez, Donaire moved up to 120 pounds. He beat off with Alfredo Vasquez for a vacant belt. After a patient start, Donaire found an opening in round three. And he rips Vasquez with a left hook lead. Can he finish him now? And then he shows how much power that he has for small fighters. Vasquez gets out of the corner and kind of grins. And if that's a victory, an overly cautious Vasquez finally began engaging in the middle round. Hard right hand by Vasquez. He does punch the fight. Hey, he's long and Vasquez is going to give him more opportunities to count. Hard left hook by Donaire momentarily wobbling Vasquez. With Vasquez taking more aggressive approach, Donaire perfected his timing in round nine. What a couple of punches from Vasquez's uppercut and the left hook to put him down. There we saw some signs of that quick-handed power. Battling through a ruptured vein in his left hand, Donaire claimed a split decision victory, winning a Super Bantamweight title. 122-pound unification bout with Jeffrey Matamula. The South African stood four and a half inches taller than Donaire, and the Filipino flash tried to neutralize that advantage quickly. Well, when Donaire closes the gap, he gains the height advantage from Matamula. And that's what the little has to do. Just get close to him and get those big punches on him. And try to get him out of the quickest of play. Matabula was willing to trade inside the Donair. He left himself open at the end of round four. Go! Left hand! Drops Matabula! First down in his career. He's been down on the canvas of left hand near the end of round four. Bouncing back from the knockdown, Matabula kept up an active work rate. But Donair continues to land the biggest shot. Wearing his opponent down in the championship round. See what happens when he uses his jab, sets up the right hand there. He hurt Matabula with that right hand, I guarantee that's why Matabula is not touching. He looks like a broken jaw, Roy, the way he's hanging over. Right into a broken jaw. Matabula lasted all 12 rounds, but Donaire claimed a unanimous decision victory. These veteran Sociaki Nishioka put his 16 fight win streak on the line to challenge Donaire. As in most recent fights, Donaire's opponent was cautious early. In Chioka so far, he's been intimidated by Donaire's power. Donaire right here, right shot that you see, and it's a good straight right to the knee, and that's all he can get. He just takes what he can get, and he's just going to do something. By round six, the Chioka finally began opening up, and Donaire capitalized. See that double cut over there? That's a shot on the both that right hand. Oh, Nishioka down! Short shot inside! Right hand over the top, straight right hand, Nishioka says, bring it on! Left hand from Donaire! As Nishioka chose to engage, he came apparent he couldn't compete with the power of Donaire. There they go, opening up power shots! Left hand to the body by Donaire, scores. Nishioka steps into the combination. Oh, down goes Nishioka on the counter shot! The referee steps in and stops him. The open corner jumps in to protect him. Any time he chose to truly fight back, he got dropped. Donaire's fourth fight of the calendar year saw him squaring off with Jorge Arce. The Mexican veteran had built his career on entertaining action fights, and Donaire was happy to engage in round two. The left hook upstairs, and there goes Arce to the canvas on a quick, short, straight right hand. Aggression of Arce played right into Donaire's hand, bringing the night to an end in round three. And here's Donaire looking for the knockout, and Arce's down again. Second knockdown of the fight for Donito Donaire, and Jorge Arce is rubbing a glove against his left eye. Good right hand by Donaire, and another left uppercut. And down goes Arce on a brilliant left hook, and that just might be that, and it is. He has one of the best left hook in the business today. He hits it with that with the right side. Nonito Donaire with his fourth win of 2012. <laughs>
dead game. He's talented, but he's completely outclassed. No need to go near his way. All these bad and super bad. Eventually, he's featherweight to be careful. Very, very He's got it all. So he said, I'm trying, but he said, maybe he stopped believing. Hand by, uh... Well, he's seen, he's seen there that, that just the punch that actually hit him, so that he's going to right hand right now. Kind of stopped himself right there. Oh, oh, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying. That, 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 that is enough. That is enough, folks. That's it. 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 That's it